YouTubers and welcome to another beer review with me here, the Master of Puppets. Today, joined by Jakob Lormaltz. And totally not fanboys today. Not at all. <laughs> today, we're going to be looking at another Ugly Duck beer. And this is one of their newer releases. And this is the Ugly Duck Funk You. <laughs> Ugly Duck. <laughs> uh, this is a Funk You. And it's a, yeah, it's a, a Funky Burton Mice and Sale. 6.5% says the word funk was originally used in the music world to describe body odor. Sweaty jasmine smelled funky. There are no jasmine in this beer. James Brown was funky. There's no James Brown in this beer. There's either a funky aroma from the use of Burton Mice's, loads of good grades, different strains of bread, and a whole lot of patience went into this beer. It's all about the flavors and aromas. Funk us, funk you. Yes. So yeah, let's get into this one. I have some additional information from a tasting I held, but I, I can't remember it. So. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, you've already had this, right? Yeah. So we got the Ugly Duck Funk You poured, and it's like a what hazy? Yeah, golden, golden, golden yellow color. Nice white head on there. Yeah. Really yeah, nice. funky <laughs> bread for sure. Uh, pineapple yeah. is one of the notes I'm picking up. Bread Mice's barnyardy funky notes. Good. Bread, bread, kind of like caramel breadiness, kind of uh, yeah. smell going on as well. Almost like a hint of tropical fruits. Yeah. And some citrusy, kind of sweeter citrus fruit notes. Yeah, almost like a gooze of which has aged. Yeah, it actually smells a little sour too. Yeah. More so than just funky. Like it's some tartness, some peachy notes maybe? Yeah. Pale stone fruits. Green apple. It smells pretty good. It, it's it's similar to like Ormel type of beer. Yeah, yeah I think pretty much. Is Ormel also like six and a half percent or six point nine? Yeah, around there. I think so. Well. But yeah, I think it's six point five. Maybe. Yeah, something like that. But let's give it a taste. Oh, cheers! Cheers! That is quite sensual. Uh, quite refreshing. Yeah, really refreshing. Really refreshing. It's not as in your face on the funk. No. This it's actually a really good beginner's friendly yeah. ice beer, but it's still yeah, I, I kind of want to down it because it's just so <laughs> yeah. refreshing. But it still has that all that kind of um, refreshing bread, like in bread or yeah, yeah, yeah. bread and ice type flavor. Yeah, that old kind of musty cellar thing, the barnyard, tropical fruits. Is yeah, but I don't think it has as much as, and, as in the aroma. There's definitely like some pineapple. Pineapple, <laughs> pineapple, and some uh, kind of fruit notes, some green apples, some citrus fruits, pale stone fruits as well. But they're kind of more mellow. Yeah. Um, uh, also, kind of like a peach uh, right in the center. What's it called at the uh, like the last bites of a peach or last scrapings from a peach? Kind of mm. like that funkiness. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely get the peach flavor, but I, I can't remember what. Like close to the center of the beach, <laughs> tastes like. Oh, but, um, yeah, the green apple, a little bit of sweet malt, and also breadiness. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice, sessionable, refreshing Brennamices type of beer. Really drinkable. But it's not like a mind blower. No, no. Yeah. But it's, it's pretty really cheap, too. Yeah, I think I paid 30 kroners for this. Uh, for, well, my bottle. Um, really nice, really refreshing. Can drink a lot of it. Uh, rating wise for me, I'm gonna go 85. It's it's pretty damn drinkable. Quite a nice and refreshing, a funky beer. Not over the top. This would be perfect for hot summer day, and then also a good gateway beer yeah. to Britain Mice's. I think it would be paired really well with salads and kind of like with the with the vinegary. Yeah, dressing. Or some kind of seafood. Yeah. Uh, rating, I'm, I'm gonna go a little higher. I really dig it, and it's really drinkable and easy going mm -hmm. and uh, yeah 88 yeah Straight up or something yeah guys so that does it for the beer review of the ugly Art brewing companies funk you uh, definitely let us know what you think of this one if you've had it as always want to come subscribe and yeah, Jakob is looking at the cats next door right now <laughs> and <laughs> to come subscribe check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and we're gonna say cheers, cheers. <laughs> we're gonna see you guys in another beer review